Hello guys and welcome to this channel Programming Fever. So in this tutorial series, I will show you how you can make music player in Python with the help of Kiwi. So let me show you its demo first. So this is the music player that we will create in this tutorial series. You can check its features. It has a slider to increase and decrease the volume. It has the mute and unmute button. And you can also see the progress bar here. And you can also see the current and total time feature. And on the top, you can see the title of this song and this album image. So let's play a new song. So you can see its time is automatically updating and this progress bar is also updating. And you can increase and decrease the volume here. And you can also mute and unmute this song. And when I will click on this stop button, it will stop and again this timestamp set to the zero. And when I will again play this song, then you can see new song is playing and again this time and progress bar is updating. So this is the music player that we will create in this tutorial series. So before starting this tutorial series, if you are new to the Kiwi, then you can watch our Kiwi basic tutorial where I posted all the basic tutorial for Kiwi. So you can watch and learn Kiwi first here and then you can create your music player. And you can also check texted version of this tutorial on programmingfever.com under the blog section. So you can see we have posted Kiwi Music Player Part 1, Kiwi Music Player Part 2. So you can check this blog also. So you can see all the code I posted here and explain all the things here. So let's start writing the code for our Kiwi Music Player. So this is the empty project that I created in my PyCharm and I also created this main.py and before you start make sure kiwi and kiwi md is installed in your pc to install kiwi and kiwi md use command pip install kiwi so you can see for me it is already installed and use command kiwi md to install kiwi md it is already installed for me okay now import all the necessary library that we will use in part one so now import OS and then import random and then import Kiwi then from Kiwi dot app import app and import some classes for designing purpose from Kiwi MD dot UIX dot relative layout import MD relative layout and from kiwi md dot uix dot button import md icon button and from kiwi dot app kiwi md dot app import md app okay and again import kiwi dot core dot audio import sound loader so this class will be used to load all the mp3 songs from our local storage into our application okay now create the basic template for our kiwi application my app give the app name whatever you want i will give my app and pass the md app here and then create the build function and then create a layout I will use MD relative layout here and to change the color we will use this MD BG color tag and give the value I will give 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 1 comma 1 so you can change the color of your music player background by changing these values okay now return this layout and to run this app use if name equal equals to main and then my app dot run okay 
let's run it so you can see window is created and background is also changes in our relative layout okay but this window size is not good for our music player so i will change this window size using from kiwi dot core dot window import window and then give the size window dot size equals to 400 comma 600 let's run it so you can see this size is perfect for our music player okay now create two button play and stop button for our music player okay so first copy all these songs images and buttons icon in your working directory this is our working directory you can check your working directory from this terminal and you can use this path okay now copy all these music and images in this path i will give you all these files in programming fever source code section so you can download these files from there okay so you can see all the files are reflected here in our working directory now create play and stop button now use variable play button equals to md icon button and to change the position of x and y use pause hint and to give the x position use center x colon 0 0.4 and to change the y position use center underscore y and give the position 0 0.05 and give the icon icon equals to play dot png okay similarly create a stop button change the name here also change the icon and also change the x position i will give 0 0.55 and finally add these button to the layout using dot add widget function self dot play button and also add stop button okay so run this first so you can see play and stop button is added in our relative layout okay so now what we will do we will give this directory path and we will create a list of all the files that are present in this directory and after this we will parse all the dot mp3 file from that list and we will create a new list song list let me show you by add the code so first create self dot music directory path and copy this path change this forward slash okay and this is our directory path okay now create a list of all the files that are present in this folder or directory to do this use self dot music files equals to os dot list dir function and then use self dot music directory path so this music file will store a list of all the files that are present in this folder let me show you by printing this music files self dead dot music files run this so you can see here a list is print with all the files data present in that directory this directory okay now parts all the mp3 file data present in this directory using use self dot song list as a variable and use x for x in self dot music file and if x dot ends with mp3 
then it will store all the files in this song list. Let me show you by print this list also self dot song list. Run this. So you can see here first it is printing all the files then after parsing mp3 file it is creating a new list. Okay so this is our song list. Now create a new variable self dot song count and it will store the length of our song list. So this song count we will use for our future purpose. Okay, now create two function play audio and stop audio. Define play audio and pass self and object and also create a stop audio comma object and pass. Okay, and also call this function from our button on press. play audio and here also on press stop audio and don't forget to add self here self dot play audio and self dot stop audio okay and now create a play audio function to play the audio First, we will pick up the song from our song list and then we will add that song into our song loader and finally we will play. Okay, so first pick up the song self dot song title. We will give the name song title and self dot song list and pick the random song from this list random dot rand range and give the range zero to self dot song count. So song count will be 4 because our song list size is 4 and from 0 to 4 it will pick up the song from this list and assign to this song title. Okay, now finally add this song into the sound variable, sound loader and then use function load and give the path of our song using dot format self dot music dir and self dot song title okay so this line we are using to load the sound in our sound loader with the help of load function and you can check the format so suppose if i want to give the path of this music file then we will use the music directory path you can check here and after this we are adding slash and then title song name okay so this way we can load this song and this song and this song so first we will pick up the random song here and this song title will be like one underscore song one and this and this and finally it will add to the song loader okay so finally play song using self dot sound dot play function okay and also use this function to stop self dot sound dot stop okay let's run it so you can see when i will click on this play button music is a start okay and when i click on this stop button it is a stop and again it will pick up the random song and play the audio and it will stop the song okay so this is the part one of our music player in next part we will cover album image and song title so if this video helps you then hit the like button for me and don't forget to subscribe this channel thanks for watching